they're going to, with reconciliation, they're going to try to do amendments as many as they can get away with. Um, and I think we keep them here all night. Tonight, the next night, the night after, the night after, we, we if they're going to, if they're going to try to filibuster in the traditional sense or in the more modern obstructionist sense that they do, uh, they're going to have to, they're going to have, they're going to have pain too. They're going to have to stay all night, and we're going to have quorum calls, and we're going to do whatever we need to do to get this passed within the Senate rules and within fair play. But that's the way we've done it all along. And I, I, I just, you know, this whole, this whole thing when they say we're going to reconciliation, we're going to turn over one seventh of the American economy. Now, reconciliation, for one thing, it's a majority vote, as you point out, which every country in the world runs their parliament or their Congress by. But more than that, the reconciliation part of the bill is a, is small at the, at the edges, fixing, chain, making positive changes in the big bill that both houses have already passed in the Senate with a supermajority of 60 and in the House. So um, this whole thing that we're turning over reconciliation, one, one more point, when I hear them say they only did little things with reconciliation, when when I was in the House, the Senate did reconciliate. When they did reconciliation on tax bills, they took a surplus that was going to be trillions of dollars and turned it into a deficit, a debt, which was going to be trillions of dollars. And they say that was a minor thing they did with reconciliation. Nice try on that one, my friends. Senator Brown, um, briefly, one last thing on, on health reform. The current bill before the Senate does not include a public option. You said today that you could, you might, offer a separate bill that would include the public option. Um, how would that work exactly, and what sort of support do you think you'd get? Well, uh, my, my comments that way just meant I don't give up on this. I, when Senator Kennedy and Senator Dodd, the acting chair of the Health Committee, asked Senator Whitehouse, Sheldon Whitehouse from Rhode Island, and me to write the public option bill, um, it, we've been working on it ever since for seven or eight months. Uh, we're going to try to get it in reconciliation. If we fail, we're going to keep trying and keep trying. If it's a free standalone bill later, I'm not giving up on this. And by the time this bill takes effect, this law fully takes effect, I hope to have the public option included because it will save money. It will keep the insurance companies honest. The insurance companies always play this game a step, step ahead of the sheriff. And we need the discipline on the market, the discipline on the insurance companies, and, and the choice that so many Americans that are being told you got to buy insurance, we want you to have the option of buying a public insurance plan that, that's freestanding and can compete toe-to-toe -to -toe with Aetna and Blue Cross and all these other insurance companies. Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown Thanks. of Ohio, thank you for your time tonight, sir. Appreciate Always. it. Thank you, Rachel.